Barrel and Water Conservation District, and today I'm going to show you one way to get your rain barrel ready for winter. This is a rain barrel that I won in a raffle, courtesy of uh, Girl Scout Troop 62 who painted the Lake Erie Monsters on it. Um, it was a great year for having a rain barrel, and I'm glad that I was able to have one to offset the drought this season, but we've had a couple of frosts, and I'm ready to put it away for the winter. I already drained this barrel most of the way using the faucet at the bottom. There's a few inches of water left in it, so first I'm going to use a screwdriver to pry off the louvered screen at the top of my barrel so that I can tip it over and drain it the rest of the way. I'm going to check my screen for debris. This is pretty clean, but if it was dirty, I might direct a hose through the screen towards the louvers to get the rest of the debris out. As it is, I'm just going to set it aside for the moment and tip my entire barrel over to get the rest of the water out. Now that the barrel's drained, I can remove the overflow tube and set it aside for once. I store my barrel and the overflow tube in the garage for the winter, but if you didn't have space indoors to store it, you can also return the screen back on top, make sure your overflow tube is off, and just flip the barrel upside down to be stored outside of it. With my rain barrel out of the way, I've stacked a couple of bricks in its old place to support the rest of the dump bed, and also positioned the old splash pad that I can use to further direct water away from my house. I swapped out the downspout elbow that was on top of my rain barrel for a downspout connector that fits my downspouts. These are about $2 at any hardware or box. The downspout connector will let me take my old downspout assembly and reattach it to the downspout that's still installed on the side of my house. If this were a loose fit, I could use a drill to put a couple of screws in between the downspout connector and the existing downspouts. It's a pretty tight fit for me, so I'm going to leave this as it. That's all it takes to swap out your rain barrel for your old downspout connection and get your rain barrel ready for it.